Today I'm going to show just a fraction of what Codex can do. Codex is a very advanced, yet a single page wavetable synthesizer. It uses state of the art, high quality format correction technology, which doesn't really exist in any other wavetable synthesizer. <music> To show how I can convert a, a simple recorded line into something very interesting in Codex, this is what I have recorded. This is Codex. I'm just going to import it to one of the tables, and it doesn't matter which one of the 64 available ones I import it to. I just press import and bring in this WAV file. If I scan it manually, I will advance through the 64 loop slots smoothly. So you can hear the vowels. But I can also automate this procedure by selecting the speed in which it will scan between the start, the mid. And then it will stop at the end. So the end can be um, at the end of the sample. And then it will just stay there. Or I can tell it to go back like half halfway. So it will go from the start to the middle position. Then it will basically reverse back to the end position, or I can play the whole thing in reverse by setting the start to the end of the sample. So I can scan it in both directions, and I can also loop between the middle and the end position. So I can tell it to start at the end of the sample, go to the middle position, then go back to the end position and then loop between the middle and the end position. And I can change the speed in which it happens or the positions. So I can go really fast while keeping the start position, which triggers when I hit keep a key at a different position. This can also be synced to the tempo, the host, um, or the internal BPM. So all this was just done using one oscillator. And if I add some chorus, reverb, some delay, make the attack time longer, and the longer release time. Now you can hear that it stops at the very end where I did the codex. But I can move it back. To just land on one other slot and then So that's just one oscillator. Now, if I stop the, sc the dynamic scan by turning the speed knob right down, I will just stay on the start position, which I can move till I find a waveform that I like. So basically, just by using this single table, I have 640 different waveforms at my disposal. And if I find something that I like here, I can add to it the second oscillator, which is identical to the first one. So I can find a table that I like, and then I can mix the two together, or I can assign an LFO to mix them for me, like LFO1. Let's make that slower. So 
So now LFO1 mixes, changes the balance between oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. I can also assign LFO to scan the, between the different tables. Uh, so let's go back to hearing just oscillator 1. And now I'm actually scanning the different tables, but in a smooth way. So we have 64 different tables. One of them is currently occupied by this line, this recorded line that I imported. But the others are the factory ones at the moment. Although I can import samples to all of the 64 tables and it will they will be saved within each preset because each preset can also scan between the tables. So I need to save, I mean Codex will save all 64 used tables within each preset. So now I'm basically scanning between the different tables and I can change the speed and depth in which I do that. So that's the depth, and that's the speed. And you can hear that it's done in a very smooth way. Now, if I, if I set a sample and hold wave, I can create a wave sequencer, basically. Uh, let's go through some presets that I made earlier. Um, that one uses the sequencer to play this melody. And then I can just select a different note and it will transpose. Now I can also keep that sequence and tell codecs not to replace it when I load new presets. And that allows me to scroll through presets while retaining the sequencer plane. So if I like that slightly cheesy melody, I can change the sound or the whole settings of codecs without changing the sequencer. Um, now, because we used um, analog, mostly analog synthesizers when sampling the different tables, and if I go back to an initial setup, let me just mute the, cut the sequencer, then you can see if I go back to table one, table one, um, and now I can just sweep through this table manually to create, to recreate the filter sweep that we used on one of my classic synthesizers from my analog synth collection. And I'm sure some of you will be able to identify that specific synthesizer. Starts with an M. And let's go back. Let's go through another one. So the characteristics of that specific synth are actually kept, but Codex allows me to scan it smoothly and to create this type of sound. I can do that very easily and I can change the sweep speed, in this case, the filter envelope sweep speed. Um, and that allows me to create that specific, or to recreate that specific analog synth character without even touching the filter or anything else. And then I can go through the different waveforms 
And if you see, if I go back, you see there's some weird ones that don't really exist in real life because we morphed and manipulated different tones from different synthesizers and different filters to create tones that don't really exist in real life. But can live happily in here. We also sampled some of my my voice to create those. Let's go the other. So this is me singing some vowels. So basically you can create almost every imaginable vowel transition um, using those tables. And then you'll, in a sense, have me privately singing in your production. Yeah. 